What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday. Now, before we go inside and see what the day brings us, um, I always come to work a little early and, you know, just watch videos or whatever just to get my mind right for the day. Um, I was watching a, a YouTuber, actually two YouTubers, it's a husband and a wife, and they go around the country, um, you know, exploring and doing you know, exploring different things about history and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Big shout out to the Grim Life Collective. Their videos are awesome. Check them out. Um, but they did one. One of their newest videos is about uh, when the day the music died with uh, the rock and rollers, the best rock and rollers in the planet. When they, um, that was Richie Valens, the Big Bopper, and Buddy Holly. Now, I'm a big rock and roll fan, from, especially from the 50s, man. And um, actually, for my wedding, I danced with my wife, We Belong Together by Richie Valens. That's how much I like Richie Valens, man. And Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper. Um, that was awesome, man. So if you're a big rock and roll fan, I suggest go to their channel right now, Grim Life Collective, and check them out, man. That video, they awesome I, I even got choked up a little bit i'm not gonna lie it, it, they did a great job with that video so again big shot to grim life collective now let's go inside and see what we got doing today today we are fixing a hole in the rug oh are you gonna coach us through it yes we will look at that i took a break today and joe's gonna take over and yeah. he's gonna show you how to fix a hole and i'm gonna we show you right several now tools to work with here that's right we're gonna cut off to the next clip and joe's gonna show you the tools we use and the hole we gotta repair all right does that sound good joe sounds good we're gonna take a spot from under the bed okay we're, we're gonna get to it hole. right now all right, Joe, as you can see, there's the hole, and it's literally in the entrance, so we definitely got to repair it. And as soon as you walk into the room, you see it. Yeah, so it's very noticeable. So that's the hole, and we're going to show you how to fix that right now. So first thing we're going to do, we move the bed, and Joe got to explain to us, Joe, what you got there? It's a cookie cutter. It's a rug cookie cutter, but it's really called a cookie cutter. Yeah, and it's going to cut us a nice round hole. So he goes under the bed. So we'll, we'll make sure we're so. definitely under it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This yeah, is we're at the end of it. So I want to make sure we're underneath so it's not going to so Joe's gonna gonna cut be a hole somewhere. A nice round piece. All there right. Let's see the piece, Joe. Pop it up. There it is. That's so that's the piece we're going to use to repair that hole there. All right. See, we're going to try to get those little lines to line up as close as possible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect, because even if it's a little off, it's going to still... I think right there looks good. So Joe cut the hole that was in the middle of the room, which is this piece right here. As you can see, that's the hole. And now he's replacing it with the one that he cut under the bed, which is not noticeable. You're not going to notice that because we're going to put this piece back in there. So we'll throw that over there. Joe, explain us okay. the tools that we got here. Now, the next thing we're going to use is we're going to use the glue tape. Uh -huh. See, there's two sides to it. The side with the glue, the side with the paper backing. Yep. Paper backing goes down towards the, towards the padding. What we need to do is we need to... Don't mind the kids running in the hallway. To grab quite a few other tools we're gonna need. We need this tool for blending it in, kind of like 
That yeah. helps you now rough the carpet up. And then we got the special iron, right? We have iron to heat up the tape. See, Joe is more experienced than I'm learning right now with you guys as we go. Because he, he's done this before. There is supposed to be a platform to put this on, but um, I bought it at the Home Depot and it looks like somebody was through the box already and <clears throat> it got lost. So, so he modified his I own modified, stand. I did my own stand. All right, so Joe's all set up here with all his tools that he needs. Joe, quick question. What yeah. do you think is the hardest part of this job? Of fixing the rug? Hmm. I'm not sure yet because it's only maybe about the fifth or sixth time I've done it. So. Oh, so you're a rookie? Kind of. Uh, but the last one you fixed, I like. It came out good. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest part is matching up the pattern in the rug. Yeah, pretty much. What do you think? Um... Then you have to have patience to and patience, yeah, to, to let the shit dry right when it, when you heat it up. Okay, so it's not gonna go ahead, enough. guide us through this. Let's see, now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get the paper out of the way on the one side. We're gonna have to put two pieces in here to fuck until it'll fill the whole thing. There you go. So he he actually cut the piece. Larger than before because of what, Joe? So it could fill in the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's, he's putting the whole area. He's putting the new piece in. And notice that he pre he got the pattern pretty good. Not too bad. Okay. Did I connect the, the iron for you? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. And now, what is this tool called? Do you know? I'm not sure, but what it does, it, it kind of like roughs up the carpet, so it meets the fibers. Kind of like them up. Fades it, fades, fades, like fades into it, maybe? I'm not sure, sure exactly how to describe it. Okay. All right, now we're ready to apply some heat. We get a wet rag. Make sure you, you wet it. Put it over the Your patch. the patch that you're working on. And be very careful with this iron because it's super. You could use a regular iron, correct, Joe? Yeah, you can, but you know, I gotta tell you, it'll probably take you a little bit longer. Mm hmm. So, the reason for the wet towel is? To protect the carpet. And the steam from the towel is gonna soak in to, the, to where the tape is to bring the heat down to it. Gotcha. All right, see, guys, as you can see, it's fading away little by little. Looking good. We have the the rug ambulance ready to go. We call this the rug ambulance. So this is this is the the final clip of the video. I want to thank you for showing the the viewers. How to repair a carpet. Yeah. So anyway, this is going to be the last clip of the video. They, make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell and tell a friend to tell a friend to watch the Zuma Vlogs. We out. Say peace, Joe. Peace.